Where does Luke put the toothpaste? Did you check the cabinet? Should be in the drawer. Like really? the drawer in there. Okay. The cabinet, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Above the toilet. Alright, so we are in Buffalo, New York, and, um, we're kind of just hanging out right now. We got here last night, sorry, we got here last night, and it was kind of, like, already dark, so I didn't feel like, like, vlogging, and then I slept here, like, most of the way, so oh, there was no vlog then, but we're kind of just hanging out in our RV, and... Our parents are like doing a fuck ton of stuff right now. I can't even keep up. But today we are going to, well, the guys are getting haircuts. So we're doing that. And I don't really know what else we're doing. I know other family members of mine are going to be here. But um, yeah, so we're just hanging out in here. We, we just got ready. And it's raining out. It's like not that good weather actually. But yeah. And there's G. I guess thank you for all the people that wished, like, because I Snapchatted um, when he got his top surgery, because he got top surgery done, in case you didn't know. And um, a lot of people were, like, messaging me on Snapchat, and I didn't write a lot of people back because I just, I don't know. Um, but he said that he would talk about, like, his experience a little bit. And what were you saying about the nipple thing? Um... If like well, you have to do your nip. Oh I, my god, a chipmunk. I have to, like, moisturize, or, like, not moisturize, but put, like, any bacterial mm -hmm. cream on my nipples every day. How long ago did you get it done? Uh, um, June 20th? Yeah, June 20th. It, so, exactly 10 days, right? Yeah. Or 11. It's the 1st of July. It's 11. Yeah, so he's 11 days post-op. Um, how would you say, like, like, how is your experience? It, the only thing... Here, do you want to hold it? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay, I'll just do it like this well, then. Well, um, the only thing that's hard is sleeping on my back, because I don't sleep on my back, and... You have to? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and standing up, like, straight, because I just, I am used to hunching over. But I'm not in that much pain anymore mm -hmm. for 11 days. And my nipples are actually getting color back into them already. Ew. That's gross to think about. What other questions would people... Did it hurt when you woke up? Um, it... I, the whole time I was at the hospital, like, they asked what pain level you're at, and I was always a 3 or a 4. That's pretty good. The whole time. But you were really nauseous from the anesthesia. Yeah. But that's yeah. different for everyone. Like, it's weird because I, when I was on anesthesia, I, like, it didn't affect me at all. But you were, like, really badly yeah, affected really by it. I was sick from it. But that, that was the only thing that was bad about it. And then when I got home, I got sick from the pain pills they gave yeah. me. Yeah. That's the only bad thing about the whole surgery. Did it hurt, like, when you were throwing up, like... No, that didn't even really hurt. Okay, that's cool then. But yeah, like that, I guess that's good. Because I know when, like, you get breast implants, it hurts really bad. I'm just, I've just been sore. The worst thing was getting the drains out, because it made me almost puke, because it was... It was just gross. Yeah. It didn't hurt. Where'd they pull them out of? I have scars on my armpits. Mm -hmm. They were all the way... Like underneath your... Like where your peck would be? Yeah, like in my skin. Ew. And they were like... They had to like tug them out. And I saw... Yeah, them. they just rip them out. That's what they did to my face when I had a drain under my chin. So it made me sick to my stomach. And then... My nipples, I can't really feel my nipples, but it's, like, sore to touch them. Mm hmm What would you tell to someone, because I have a lot of, like, F to M's that watch, what would you tell to someone who, like, like, advice for if they were going to get the surgery? I don't know, just... Do you just got to fucking do it? Like, yeah. You just got to, like, bite your teeth? And... Like, I, I don't even regret it because it's not even that bad of a recovery. Like, I'm basically recovered. 
Hi, Pooh. Hi, Pooh. <laughs> What's this, a, a blog session going a on? Q &A. Yes, it is. It's, it's a, a Q&A. Q &A. Oh, it's Q&A? Okay. It, I mean, it's going to suck, obviously, but the outcome is going to be, like, better than anything in the world. Yeah. So, like, it, it weighs out, doesn't it? Like, yeah, because, like, you're just... when I... The first ten days, you can't do anything. Mm -hmm. You can't shower or anything. Because... The nipples are so sensitive, but after that, like right when I got the nipple things off, she said I could shower. I could What's swim. the nipple things? They like they put packages, little gifts. like little gauze little gift things. Bags. Yeah, on my nipples, and then I have to wear an ace wrap, like really tight, that mm -hmm. whole week, so my nipples um, attach to the skin and don't die. Mm -hmm. it died. That's disgusting to think about. That grossed me out. Because <laughs> it could have died and fallen off. And yeah. I don't have any nipples. Yeah. That happens with, when, uh, I know that happens, or I think that happens when you get um, sex change, like for F to M. Yes. That can happen to your dick. Mm -hmm. So. It usually happens like there's three stages to bottom surgery. Mm -hmm. I think if you get like um, a certain kind. And the last stage is when you get a pump to get a boner and that's when it usually that's dies. That's disgusting. I don't. That's when it usually dies. So like you go through all the surgery. Really? Yeah, and then it dies. So that's why I don't really want. Bottom yeah, surgery. they, they, they've come, they're coming way, or, I heard they, they are, like, starting to find more advances in the, the, that kind of surgery. Well, like, and they take, they basically, like, cut you down to the bone in a certain place, mm -hmm. take a bunch of skin, and then roll it up. That's oh, disgusting. So, like, I would have a giant scar, like, it looked like. I got you, attacked by a shark. Yeah. Or they do it on your thigh, too. Yeah. And don't they go, like, all the way down to the bone? Basically. And, it looks like it. And they just, like, farm it. Like, yeah, they flesh. just, like, make a sausage. That's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, it, like, it's worth it to somebody. I mean, I'm not going to bash if you've gotten that before. But, like, I don't know. It would, like, this was, like, a no-brainer for me to get. But mm -hmm. that surgery, I... I don't know if I, like... Would you do it again? Top surgery? Yeah. Okay. It, it's just my... Mine isn't... My chest is... Have you seen it? It kind of has, like... Um, it's not, like, completely flat because I had so much skin mm -hmm. for such... Like, I, she... I'm so little, so I had so much, like, skin. Mm -hmm. So she had to, like... It's kind of, like, rippled, like... Yeah, I think I saw on the picture on Facebook. Yeah, but right now. Can I insert the picture here so they know what they're yeah. you're talking about? Okay. Um, so, yeah. That, the it's like right. also still swollen. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to go away, and when I work out, when I start working out, it mm -hmm. will, my muscles will fill it out. Yeah. So. Yeah, because if you look at pictures from people who've had it, like, Mooch showed us a... Mooch is a picture of this guy who had it like six months ago and it looks like he didn't even have surgery. Yeah, some people are lucky enough to just have small enough breasts they can go through the nipple. Mm -hmm. Just do like a keyhole and the only scar is on the nipple. Mm -hmm. But mine are just like... like a yeah. I thought Mooch said that it was only like right here. Yeah. So it's it, not, it doesn't it. go all the way. Oh, uh, like a line all yeah, the way across? Yeah, it's just like where... It used to, like, the bottom of it used to lay. Mm -hmm. That's the only scars. That's pretty good, though. Do you like not wearing a binder anymore? Or would you... Well, like, for six weeks I have to wear the ace wrap. Yeah. But that's not even... But still, I feel like it's, it's way flatter ace, yeah. because yeah, you it's, can't... It's so much better even it's now because... Like yesterday I was just wearing, like, a white shirt. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't do that with my binder because... You could see? Yeah, you could see it. So it's even, it's gotten better now. It's crazy. And for those people who are going to ask how, how he was able to afford it, that shit, cut that shit out. Figure it out. Figure out how to afford it. Well, I think mine might be covered. Yeah, it is covered by insurance, but everyone, and I don't know, like, the answers to insurance. I'm not... Like, I don't know, so don't yeah, ask me. I, well, like, she measured. She measured me, and for little, little, like, people, it's, like, cup sizing, it 
goes up dramatic, like, like it goes up a lot mm -hmm. if you're smaller. So I think since I was so small and they were so big and I would get shoulder pain, mm -hmm. I think that was enough for it to get covered. Okay, so lie and say so you have shoulder pain. Yeah, lie and tell them you have back pain and insurance will cover Well, because they, it. they, I think they called it a breast reduction mm -hmm. under, under insurance. That's smart. And I actually was also covered for a breast reduction because I applied to get surgery too, but they applied, there. they sent my stuff for the wrong one. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They mixed it up. Idiots. Just kidding. Don't hate me. Um, and my nurses were really nice, too. Yeah. All the nurses were really nice. You were, like, the only, the fourth patient ever yeah. at cop surgery. Really? At that place, yeah. And they did not, really Not good. her. Not the actual surgeon. Oh, I was gonna say, that's kind of risky. She's done a lot, but I was, like, in the recovery room. Like, mm -hmm. only the fourth fourth person they've taken care of oh that's really nice yeah i went there i should have vlogged but again i didn't want to because like i know that like when i was recovering from surgery i didn't care if i was on camera but you know um but it was really really nice in there it did not look like a uh like stereotypical like hospital room it was really fancy yeah. and we stayed at can we say where we stayed I don't really have any, I, is there any other questions we should address, or, let me think. Well, I can't, I can't start putting any, like, um, scar, like, lotions mm -hmm. on my actual scars for, like, a while, mm -hmm. until, like, they're, like, really healed. Mm -hmm. So that might be, like, a downside for some people mm -hmm. who are, like, very insecure about the scars or something mm -hmm. but i don't think it matters that much <gasps> joey there's a naked there's a baby joey hey <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't if you have scars on there who gives a fuck i mean it's part of your dream yeah i don't, yeah, I really I think don't it, care ooh, that looks really good oh thank you you played apples to apples no you didn't yeah me Annie, Annie, ben Oh, uh, Steve and his daughter. Let's see your yeah. face, Joey. You gotta pull that black thing up. Oh. No, push it down. And then pull the door closed. I don't know. How and then pull it up. Like that? Yeah. Cool. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Let's see. Did it hurt? Up my shave? Yeah. I cut myself a little bit, but... You it did it yourself? Yeah, uh... Uncle John helped me a lot, <laughs> but I did it myself. All right, I'll talk to you guys when G does that thing.